Hello and welcome to my Williams Road to Glory career mode here today for the Mexican Grand Prix for the penultimate round of season three. It's the first time I've been to Mexico and Good here's a quick Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fin starts from pole position. Sergio Perez lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Russell, Gasly, Lewis Hamilton and Ricardo, Sainz, Sonoda, Vettel and Lance Stroll. Verstappen, they've taken a grid penalty. Brown, Lando Norris and Giovinazzi. Ocon, Leclerc, Nikita Mazepin. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Guan Yu Zhou, Mick Schumacher and Christian Lungard. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. So we've come up a few positions compared to where we qualified. For we gained about three positions. George third. So here we go then. Let's go into the race for the first time in Mexico. And it's lights out and away we go. It's a great start by Pierre Gasly. And he's side by side with Bottas. George isn't really going anywhere. There's Perez. Has had a good start either, it's his home Grand Prix. As we are going to send it straight down the inside into turn one. Have to avoid the Alfa Romeo through the opening couple of corners and the Alfa Tauri is round. And we've seen our chance and we've sent it side by side. Can we get through? We've had an incredible start round the outside of the Ferrari. And now the Daniel Ricciardo and Sergio Perez side by side we send on Sergio Perez and we are up into P4 with the Mexican Grand Prix from P12 but the best thing is that George Russell now leads the race he's jumped Valtteri Bottas he is Pierre Gasly's start amazing start and then I think he's just about in the lead here as there comes George sailing around the outside. He gets into lead and he tapped George. I mean, he left him space, it's Pierre Gasly's fault. Here is our teammate start then. And there's Pierre Gasly looking it up brilliantly. And then George just cleverly tucks in to Bottas' toe. And then tucks into Gasly's toe. And then sends it straight through the middle of both of them and for the second time in his career into the lead so we didn't really get away well but we tried to use the stopping slipstream and then he just went so this is where we had to really send it and then we just we just waited round the outside there for Stappen and then we saw our chance and we tried to do that a thousand IQ play that Mazepin did back in Monza at the last lap and then round the outside of Bottas um, Hamilton and Sainz and then down the inside of Sergio Perez that McLaren is Daniel Ricciardo as we go back onto the live action and Perez wants his B4 back as he tries to go to our outside we force him wide of course so Paris is home Grand Prix so he's going to want to have a good result here maybe he will win the race if he can he tried again and he still couldn't do it and now here he is trying again down the pitch straight and he thinks he's got us but we're gonna keep it pinned around the outside and we've got him and now skipping on further around the lap he's trying again Perez we force him wide and Sainz is touched the back of him and Sainz is out of the Mexican Grand Prix and that has brought out the safety car and we have decided to pit to go into the set of the medium tyres and to see how far they can get us but 
I thought after this, I thought about it. We may have messed up here because those in front of us are gonna have. As we see, such an incident. I'll come back to what I was saying in a second. Here comes. This is how much is point of view, and into the wall as the race gets back underway. But these ones that are stayed out because we're going to have to fight our way back through. These are going to pull away, and when they pit, we're probably going to be nowhere near them. But we had a massive oversteer moment coming out of the final corner, and we're being boxed in now by the two Red Bulls. They're double teaming us. We tried to block Verstappen off. Perez up our inside, and somehow we stay clear of both of the Red Bulls. And now we need to get our way through, and we do as we send it down the inside there of Mick Schumacher, and Perez follows us through. And then on the next lap, round the outside, Nikita Mazepin, job done. And every one of these moves I was making, Perez was just following me through. And now, on the back of Ocon, down the inside into turn one, job done. And next up is Juan Yu Jai. Well, I feel like we always end up battling the race somehow, but Perez first, we're going to have a go down our inside. We shut the door on him. And we just about stay ahead of the Mexican. If we make contact with him, we, we're going to have to get out of here very quickly. Because the Mexican fans will not be happy. But here comes Perez again. We force him wide to the outside. Try and force him wide to the grass. A bit dodgy that one. But we got Granny Joe just off the road and we stay ahead of the Red Bull again. And now can we send it on the LP and just try and put as many cars between ourselves and Perez as physically possible as then we go down the inside of Granny Joe. And finally, what well, feels like we've taken about 10 races, we finally overtake him. And the overspeed here on Longard sends us through. And up now, as Pierre Gas is also fighting with Red Bull. So it's basically three Red Bulls. As the other Red Bull on Alpha Tauri has spun out Yuki Sonoda. He's kept the engine going. But as we're on about pretty much Red Bulls, he spins. And he's just ahead now of, of the senior team. As now we are caught up to the back of Antonio Giovinazzi and we were getting ready for an overtake but we don't have to do it because that Ferrari engine has blown up in the back of Antonio Giovinazzi. Jeff wanted us to pit, we're not going to pit. And but now Verstappen got past Stem Perez and now Max is coming up the back of us but it's not going to be that e easy, I'm afraid, Max. As here he goes again to the outside. And now we're breaking down, he thinks he's got us. He thinks he's got us, but he hasn't. Let's go back down the inside. And keep the position. And you do love to see it. As here he comes again, it's very much... Kind of missed out! Yes, Verstappen! Crashes out! He's dropped it, and that's a horrendous place to be in the middle of the track as George hits him. Our teammate, everyone avoided him apart from George Russell as Max loses it all on his own. Similar to Ocon back in Monza. But what? What's Max doing there? Is there some contact with George? As there he is, just drops it with the DRS. I think it's Paris. Paris is a little moment as well. But that's Brow, another safety car. And we're going to pit here because that safety car actually has put us in the net lead of this race. Ish. As we pit now for another set of the mediums. Now, the game said they could do 15 laps. 
So you can be drag half distance out of them, we'll have to wait and see. But these are the two Astons. They're on the hard tyres, they're gonna go to the end. Perry's is on the hard tyres. So but if we clear these, Bottas and Lando have still got to pit in this race. We haven't. So if we can clear these up Aston Martins, we are in a legit position to win this Grand Prix as we overtake Sebastian Vettel there and George follows us through but unfortunately due to the contact with Max he's been given a 5 second penalty but he hasn't got a pit again so that will be added to his race time and here we come now we're on the back of Lance Stroll we catch him napping and we've got past him and now like I was mentioned earlier when Bottas and Lando decide to pit as there goes George down the inside of Lance Stroll and George gets a job done Perez he's going to have to wait to the straight as there is Bottas and behind him is Lando Norris and there we are and for the first time in this career mode legitly as Perez tries to spoil it it is or was a Williams 1-2 and this is real this isn't pit stops we are generally on fighting now for a win for the first time since the Spanish Grand Prix in 2012 can we do it as there's Charles Leclerc one Ferrari's already out Leclerc has spun it he reverses onto the track and he's clipped he's clipped by Ming Schumacher in the arse and it's a double retirement for Ferrari in Mexico and that has brought out another safety car in the third of the day and it's all gone wrong for Ferrari Mick Schumacher lost his front wing very very lucky to not lose his front left tyre we didn't pit and here we are doing our first restart on the game there is five laps to go can we convert this it would be from P12 on the grid or will Perez get his first win in Mexico as we're back underway we tried to catch him napping we left him right to the line we tried to break the toe Perez though wants his own Grand Prix win as he's on the outside and we defend the inside line now we look to George he's gonna be down and out but on the road can we get a 1-2 as Perez comes at us again lap 33 there's three to go this time it's on our inside and Perez looks to have got the job done but we're not going to give up that easy we keep it pinned round the outside and we stay ahead we are defending this position with our lives Perez though wants the home Grand Prix win as he goes again to the inside we sail round the outside to defend again but now they're going to have the DRS and it's going to be much harder to defend as here comes Paris again we force him wide and now George sees his chance but he's just too far back to do anything as now heading down Mick Schumacher's engines popped and that's the third the second Ferrari engine to go bang as now on to lap 35 Perez looks to have finally got us no and Perez is locked up and George has gone through and it's a Williams 1-2 on the road as George now he wants to, to win he can't win because of his penalty he's going to try and overtake us though but now he's left himself vulnerable to Sergio Perez who gets the job done on him George though has the DRS from us I think and he has the straight line speed 
or does he? As he tries to go round the outside. This is helping us. Now, it's a crowd cheer for Perez, but it's George who gets back P2 and now into the stadium section for the final time. We may be three seasons in, but in real life it's 2022, which means it's been a decade since Williams last won and the first win for Williams since 2012 with Pastor Maldonado. We win the Mexican Grand Prix. Fantastic. You've won the Grand Prix. Williams have put in an incredible performance out on the track today. I'm glad all the hard work of theirs has finally paid off. It's been three long seasons. We have finally done it. I can't believe it. I thought after that first safety car that I'd messed it up. But what a race. It's such a shame that George had that penalty. Otherwise it would have been a Williams 1-2. And what a way to get the team's first win since 2012 at the Spanish Grand Prix but if you have enjoyed that episode because I enjoyed editing and recording this one it's our first win of this career mode Williams first since 2012 and it's going to be with this title decider in Brazil to come back for the Brazilian Grand Prix where we will have a Formula 1 world champion for season 3 goodbye